Good morning, good morning. How are you today? I hope all is well with you. This is Elder Ray. I'm here to share another devotion with you. The title of today's devotion is called The Whole Nine Yards. Amen. And the scripture reading for this devotion is John chapter 7, verse 50 to 53. Now, you know, normally I don't read all that, but today we are. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in verse 50, Nicodemus he who came to Jesus by night, being one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man before it hears him and knows what he is doing? They answered and said to him, Are you also from Galilee? Search and look, for no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. And everyone went to his own house. The phrase, the whole nine yards, may have originated among fighter pilots serving in the South Pacific during World War II. The pilots' warplanes were armed with 50 caliber machine guns that reportedly used ammunition belts measured exactly 27 feet in length. Thus, when the pilots fired all the ammo at a target, the target was said to have gotten the whole nine yards. Nicodemus, a predominant Jewish leader was in the midst of a debate with his colleagues about the identity of Jesus. He had personally concluded that Jesus was the Jewish Messiah. He was, however, surrounded by leaders who were opposed to Jesus. In an attempt to keep his fellow Jewish leaders from coming to the wrong conclusion about Jesus, Nicodemus gave them the whole nine yards about who Jesus was. But Nicodemus had to be careful. He knew that a full frontal attack would have removed him from the debate. To say nothing would be an act of cowardice he could not live with. So he strategically and wisely challenged them with the law in hopes that an, that an analysis of their own teachings would bring them, to, bring them to understand who Jesus really was. Everyone who pursues the truth about Jesus enters a battle. A battle he or she must fight wisely. There are two sides contending in this battle the side who wants to believe the truth and the side who wants to believe a lie. And that's what the conclusion you come to sometimes. Sometimes you're talking to people and you just can only draw the conclusion that you want to believe a lie. We are to give this battle our whole nine yards. But there will come a time when both sides will need to go home for the day. Amen. The vital question for you is this. Will you give today's battle the best you have? The prayer is, O oh Lord, teach me to give my whole nine yards for you. Amen.